All right, guys, how's it going? We got another little one from Frost Cutlery here, and this one runs under the name of Okoi River Cutlery. Um, Frost Cutlery, <laughs> Frost Cutlery have a lot of uh, different name brands under their company. There's the number for this one if you want it. I picked this one up at Chicago Knife Works. Uh, what does it say about it? All right, we've got a little info there. Let's take a look. I do like the greaseproof paper that these knives come in. They're really nicely packaged for little cheap knives. I think I paid about eight bucks for this one. Um, all right, here it is. Ta -da. Nice little stockman. Uh, these are synthetic uh, bone, imitation bone. We've got brass pins. Um, let's see what we've got. It tells us on the box. All right, so three and a half inch closed, 440 stainless steel blades, brass pins and liners, stag bone resin handles. So that's what it is. These things make really good gifts. I mean, kid wanting to buy, I don't know, granddad something for Christmas. Uh, you can't go wrong with these. Here we got a little spare blade. And it has a half stop there, nice half stop. It's got really good action this blade, really. Yeah, it's a bit slow on the return there, but if you can hear it, really not bad, not bad. And uh, here we got a what's this, a sheep's foot or something? And we got a sticker on there. Tested 56 to 58 Rockwell. All oh, these blades are actually sharp, you know. Oh, this this one has awesome action, this blade. Yeah, real snappy. And we've got the... Now, what is that? That's like a clip point, but a very shallow clip. Yeah. And we've got the... Um, a Koi River stamp on here. See that? And it is stamped, it's not etched, it's stamped in there. Nice little shallow nail nick does the job. And it's etched here, China. Let's see what the action of this one's like. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not as good as the, this one. This one's Really, the action on this one's really nice. But this is out the box. I haven't cleaned it at all. I mean, if you clean it, flush them with oil, clean them, yeah, action tends to improve. Nice bit of sharpness to that. Let's test it on some fat wood. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yep. Let's try one of the other blades. And uh, let's open them all up and have a look on the inside there. Uh, we'll see how clean it is. Let's throw a bit, more, a bit more light on it. Yeah, that's pretty clean inside there. It is really, really nice. So we've got the brass liners. There's no nasty gapping. Let's uh, shut it down. Awesome action. Yep, nice. Decent action. So... Yeah, look at that, guys. I mean, for uh, under 10 bucks, it was about 8 bucks I paid for this. Might have even been a little cheaper. Chicago Knife Works, I think, is worth looking at to pick up some little bargains. There's the uh, badge on this one. It's nicely inlaid. Yeah, the Okoye River. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but it's got a little motif on there of a uh, fishing hook looks like a fly fishing hook of some sort but uh, there you go guys um let's have a look at some well we already read the size three and a half inches closed and the main blade is two and a half inch cutting edge 
uh, about two and three quarters in length. But uh, I, I like these little knives, fun little inexpensive knives to collect. So, um, yeah, Chicago Knife Works is where I got it from. Yeah, cool little knife. Let's just see how sharp the spare blade is. Yeah, pretty darn good. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and look at the uh, look at the angle of the blade there. Yeah, I like that angle. Uh, it feels good in the hand. I've got extra large hands, just for reference. Yeah, feels good. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great week. Catch you later.